Now, the next part. This is where we're going to add everything together. So, once you get done with your presentation, and as you're talking with them, now they're under the impression of what the family legal plan is and stuff like that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to add them both together. You're going to let them know that now they know what the CDLP plan is, and they know what the basic legal plan is. Now what you have to do is show them what they cost together and what's going to be coming out of their paycheck. Okay? So the amount that's going to be coming out of their paycheck is $11.28 per week. $11.28 per week. Now, why is this important to remember? Because you got to understand, basic CDLP per week, $6.91. Legal plan, $4.37 per week. Okay? Can you remember that? Per week. You add them both together, it comes to $11.28 It's coming out of their paycheck per week. $48.88 a month. Now, why is this important? Well, let's do some other basic math. They got, those, they got that $4 Red Bull every day. Say they get them for five days a week, okay? So, what's four times five? Or, sorry, well, basically $20 a week they are spending on Red Bull. We'll just say $20 a week um, to wake up. Now, they're going to McDonald's, say, every, every day they go out and they spend, say, five bucks at a restaurant because they're on the road seven days a week, okay? So that's $35 for food per week. Per week. So they're spending $35 on food per week. Alright. Now say they want something like. Say a bottled water. A bottled water costs $1.50 a day. We'll say a dollar a day. So now they're spending $7 on one bottle of water. So they're going to want two bottles of water every day. So just on water. I'm going to use water different than wake up. So two bottles of water a day. Comes to $14.00. A week and I'm counting seven days a week so $14 just for water okay so you start adding this up and as you can see everything they're doing costs more than our plan every single thing that they're on the road doing but what's here's the kicker any of this stuff here they can take away from okay they can take away from anything on this side the reason why is because if they get one legal, okay, on average, just say on average, lawyers are $250 an hour. Guess what? CDL lawyers are a lot more than that. So now they're taking time away from their family. They have to go back to the jurisdiction. They're paying for their ticket. Now they have a point on their license. So that $11.28 per week, the $48.88, you know, here's the thing. Once they get one ticket, now they're paying hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. The truck drivers park their trucks on the side of the road half the time and leave them. They get sued all the time. You see them wrapped around. You see them, um, we're coming up in the wintertime right now when they need us the most because they're going to get tickets for people following too close. Uh, the cars are like 300 feet in front of them. They need to be 650 feet, but the truck driver's one is getting the ticket. So one ticket on average can cost these guys over $1,000 a year just for one ticket. Not only that, then you have to average in the time that's going to be spent going back to fight the ticket, the lawyers that have to fight to fight the ticket, the companies, what the kind of company loss is going to have for having a driver in the courtroom, okay? And since people do not know what the rules of the road are, they pretend they do, they get in trouble all the time, Okay. So what we do is we have a company called Riggs Abney, which I'm going to go into next, and I'm going to tell you how to get a hold of that company. But here's the kicker, guys. $11.28 per week comes out of their paycheck. That 
that totals up to $48.88 a month. Okay? Now, what sounds better? $0.99 cents a day, $11.28 per week, $0.67 cents per day, or $48.88 per month. What these guys are spending per week on food, it's going to be greater than what they're spending per legal. And the nice thing about it is they can talk to the lawyers while they're on the road. Now, 40% of all driving accidents happen because of distracted drivers. Okay? Now, on the same token, let's look at it like this. Moving violation, non-moving violations. So if they get in trouble with logbook, over height, hazardous material, equipment violation, over length, over width, overweight, load spillage, no place, car, permanent violations, no medical card, no insurance, no motor carrier, okay? These things can be pretty detrimental, okay? Defense of a non-criminal moving violation in the court of original jurisdiction, defense of a, by an attorney located through your commercial driver's legal plan law firm, the attorney appointed for you is usually located in the area where you are. So in other words, they're getting a lawyer in the area they got the ticket. Okay, we help out with license, personal injury. All right, and if they don't, at least we give them a 25% preferred member discount. So as long as it's not drugs, alcohol, scanners, guns in their vehicle, and I still say guns because the federal law, okay, as long as they're not have, you know, things that abide by state rules that consider a felony, then we're going to cover them. And it doesn't matter if they're in their car or if they're in a semi. Okay, we're covering both. We need to cover both. And a lot of these other companies out there convince them that they offer the same stuff we do. They do not. They're basically lying. And they're lying to get their business because they know these truckers are not going to look into it. You have to be on call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for these truck drivers. They will call you up. They'll ask you to do a three-way call into the attorneys. The attorneys will then turn around and help them. Okay? Any questions so far?